Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are here with the Emotomo motion control system on a Dana Dolly. So we are, I'm shooting a you know, 30 second, 45 second spot for Emotomo. Uh, it's the, the premise is it's an evolution of the studio. So I've gone and got a whole bunch of old computers, old cameras, old lenses, and I'll be doing separate passes with each of those items and a blank um, cabinet, blank desk, blank room. And then what I'll do is stack those passes, um, which we'll do in Premiere, and then fade between them so it, you can see the different um, elements being built or evolving. Motion control systems used to cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Emotomo now has one that basic package is like 2,500 bucks. Um, this is a little bit more kitted out because this is a dolly system. It allows me to use the motion control head as well as um, slide it backwards and forward on the dolly. So the way this works is um, there are three elements of control um, on the pan tilt head, the dolly, and the focus ring. I can set a setting for all three of those. So um, I'm gonna set my start point as here. I'm gonna set my end point as somewhere over here and I could if I had a focus ring on I could just focus as well then I choose the duration so it's going to happen over let's say four seconds and I'm going to choose the ramp so it doesn't start with a jerk it slowly ramps up and slowly ramps down I'm going to set that at two seconds I can also set intermediate frame so it could go and then come back but for now I'm just going to have an in point and an out point then I hit I tell it to go to the start point I leave the controller on the dolly because otherwise I always lose it. I hit record on the camera, hit go. Now the motion control system will run through that as I've asked it to. Then I can stop on the camera, change something in the scene, tell it to go back to the start, do what I want to do, hit record again, hit start again. It'll run through the same shot again, identically so that um, every single take of this will be able to be stacked on one, uh, stacked on top of one another and match um, pixel to pixel. So, you know, the advantage of a, a motion control system like this um, is that you can, you know, match individual takes with one another. You can also, if I were to change the duration from take to take, so I could do one take at five seconds, one take at 50 seconds, one take at 500 seconds, so when I, when I shorten the longer ones and match them up, the motion will match, but one will be slow motion, one will be fast. Um, Emotomo has a couple of uh, clips on their website with a skater that, uh, that uses that technology where the, the guy in front is real time and the, his background is um, super fast motion. It's a pretty great system. Um, I found myself finding new applications for it, new things to do with it. Uh, once you have the ability to replicate a move again and again and again. Um, it opens up all sorts of things. One of the other common um, uses for this is in interview footage, you can set a start point and end point on an angle. So if I want to set my start point, um, I'll, I'll exit out of the one I just did. I'll set a new start point with the camera facing in. Set an end point at the other end of the slider with the camera facing in again, so uh, like keeping a subject tracked. Once I start, the camera should go back and forth between those two points. So if you're using an interview, you want to keep the person locked in the space and you want the camera to ping pong back and forth. Uh, obviously, you do it much slower than this, um, but keeping one fixed uh, point in perspective, uh, it's a really great solution for doing that as well. So I feel like once you have the technology, you start to find new ways to use it and you end up um, putting all kinds of shots. The basic technology is um, a pan tilt head can go on a tripod. Then you add a third element of a slider and um, Emotomo makes kits for all different types of sliders like the Dana Dolly, um, like the Mighty Slider, um, Cine Sliders, uh, all kinds of third party ones um, with this little, uh, little motor that's customized for each one and a band. Um, that runs between the two sides so the camera can pull itself along and then the third element this is a 15 mil rail mount um, and you can have one or two of these 
um, wheels to just focus or zoom. And like I said, that can just become part of the shot. So you can either keep focus or you can rack focus as you move forward, um, all kinds of possibilities. I really enjoyed using this. Um, I really want to now come up with ideas to use it uh, again in different scenarios. Emotomo is doing really exciting stuff. I really, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy uh, behind the scenes and the little video we did with them. Um, I really appreciate the collaboration and hope to do more stuff like this in the future. Uh, thanks to Brian from Emotomo for hooking us up with all this gear. Leave your questions in the comments and I will see you next time.